What's up guys, today we're gonna to cover how to build muscle as fast as possible. And this is something you may hear a lot of different ideas about with different ways of training, different um, rep schemes, you name it. We're gonna actually take a further step back here and look at things from a much higher level and go over what is the actual process of building muscle. So from a very simple run through, we're looking at muscle breakdown, recovery, and growth. Easy as that. So what are we talking about here? Breakdown. This is what you're doing in the gym. Anytime that you're training, you are breaking down muscle tissue. You don't build anything in the gym. You only tear it down. That's what every single exercise is designed to do. We're trying to take a specific muscle group, stress it to the point where the body feels it needs to adapt, and then give it the necessary tools and time to recover and build itself back up even stronger than it was before. So with a training program, you need to make sure that you are stressing each target muscle as adequately as possible so that it's got enough of a stimulus to require growth and require transformation, but not so much that you're actually limiting your recovery. So with working out, I liken this to digging a hole. The harder you work out, the longer you work out, the deeper that hole gets. And the more advanced that you are, the more you need to train, the more of a stimulus you need to provide your body. But eventually you get to a point where the more work you do in that session isn't actually providing you with any more benefit and it's actually detracting from your recovery capabilities. So that's where understanding what a balanced program looks like in relation to your nutrition and your recovery capabilities is so important. So training number one, we've got that down. Number two, once we've broken down the muscle tissue, now we need to recover. And this is where you can actually start having that muscle growth occur. So we need the proper nutrition coming in. Number one, we need protein intake. If you don't have adequate protein, you're not gonna be building muscle at the most effective rate possible. So there's a number of different calculations you can go about. The easiest one to look at is one gram per pound of body weight. That's obviously going to vary from person to person and goal to goal, but that's a pretty good place to start. After we've got protein intake, we need a surplus of calories. So if you don't have enough calories on top of what your body requires to function, the amount of energy that, that's required for the activity that you're doing in the day, and then have some left over, you're not gonna be able to build a bunch of muscle mass. Muscle requires energy. Muscle is a metabolically active tissue. So unless you have a surplus of energy available beyond what your body needs for everything else it's doing in the day, you are not going to see much muscle gained. Beyond the nutrition, we need to make sure that the time that we're giving ourselves to recover and the environment that we put ourselves in is conducive to muscle growth. So proper sleep, this is huge. A lot of people have either sleep issues or they don't give themselves enough time and they're really limiting the progress that they can make with this. Proper sleep is where growth hormone is released. Upwards of 75% of your body's growth hormone is actually released during sleep. And so if three quarters of your growth hormone is released during sleep and you're not getting the full duration of sleep that you need during the night to recover, then you are taking a massive chunk of your body's muscle building capabilities and throwing that away. Growth hormone is needed for the body to utilize the protein that you give it to actually build that tissue back up. And then obviously lack of sleep limits your energy levels. It also limits the amount of glycogen that you can store for your workouts in the future. So again, a lot of negatives here. And then finally, we wanna limit stress. So with muscle building, we're going through an anabolic process. We are trying to promote muscle building, tissue building, and the one thing that we want to limit is cortisol. Cortisol being your stress hormone, that is the hormone that's responsible for tissue breakdown. So the last thing we wanna do is have that elevated through the roof when we're actually trying to build tissue up. So we've got our training down, we've broken the tissue down, we've given our body the right amount of nutrients and time, now we get to grow. So this is where once these two things have been accomplished, this is where your body is actually going through the process of growing. And so the more frequently you can go through this, the more progress you'll see, the faster results that you'll have. So if you're able to train a body part twice per week, three times per week and recover from it, you're gonna see a lot more progress in that body part 
than if you're just hitting everything once per week. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Try to include this into the way that you plan out your training and nutrition. And over time, you'll start to see some massive gains, especially the faster that you can go through this cycle. Talk to you guys again soon.